In this tutorial I will show you how to use the matrix to modulate the different uh, internal parameters of infinite. I have uh, selected a preset I like and uh, in the moment if I play a key it does this so it has a nice sustain level and I can now walk around in the morpher and also in the noise so now I want to modulate um, this point here from two LFOs okay first you have to understand that the column here in the matrix is an output. So here we have the output is the parameter gains merge, which which is the horizontal move in the morpher. And here the frequency merge is the the vertical. Okay. So let's okay. I have selected this column. And now I can select uh, a source to modulate this. So I take LFO1. Okay. LFO1 is now selected here. Okay, I set it up a bit so that we have some useful. You see, if, I, if you double tap here, you get menus, for example, with a wave shape. Here you have the, the pulse width, the gain, the frequency, and so on. Oh, so, okay, I take this. Now, the point in the matrix is set, but then you have this here slider, which gives the actual amount of the LFO on this frequency stuff. So. Something is happening. Um, I go to page one again and switch the trace on to see. Now it shows me how this point um, is modulated by the LFO. You see, if I if I go down with the intensity here, the modulation gets less. Okay. Now I want to do the same in the X direction, which is the the gains. So I use LFO2 and again I set up something useful. Okay, now you see it's getting pretty wild because the one direction, the x direction, is controlled by LFO2 and the vertical direction by LFO1. Okay. Also, you see uh, I had already set up here a pitch from the CX control and if you look at the octave no, uh, oct octave dials then you see that I offset when I move my finger here That's the basic idea. You have a lot of parameters here you can modulate um, the crash, the cutoff frequency, of course, and uh, volumes, all stuff. You can also modulate LFO intensity and frequency. So it has a lot of possibilities.